Today, we're gonna be exploring the sunken RMS Titanic using my research submarine. Let's get started. Wait, what's that? We're getting alerts saying they actually found the Titanic. Oh, finally, I can actually explore it now. Let's leave here and get in my research submarine, and we're gonna go down all the way to the bottom of the ocean seabed and actually look at it. It's been like 70 years since the Titanic sunk, and now we actually have official information saying they found it, and we're gonna be the first to actually explore it. Oh, here we go. We need to hurry this up. We need to be the first people to actually get there. Okay, we need to start this thing's reactor. This thing is a nuclear-powered um, research submarine. Slightly concerning, but we're going to turn on all of our lights. We just need to hurry this up to explore it before anyone else does. So we're going to be turning on sonar right here, which will actually help us locate the submarine. So it should be like a blue dot. But once this number hits 3,000, we're going to absolutely hammer it going in that direction. And we're going to explore the Titanic first. There we go. It hit 2,000. Absolutely floor. Here we go. We are hammering it right now. We're on absolute max speed. Okay, our electric's going down still. That's fine. Who cares? It's going to be... Oh, wait. What just happened? Never mind. We're going to be waiting until this number actually hits 4,000. There we go. We are on full speed. Our generator is producing so much out but, but here we go we have six and a half kilometers to go that way and it is pretty deep so this is gonna be interesting let's go i can't wait to actually see what this titanic looks like ice monster 360 did make the sunken titanic we're gonna be exploring today link is in the description if you want to go subscribe to it but while we're driving there why don't we give a bit of a tour of my research submarine here so this is our cabin so this is where we actually all sleep at and then directly behind our um cabins here we have our computer room so these are all of our computers and systems and batteries so these are the radios we actually use to communicate with our rov down below but then down here is the reactor room so this room will be filled with radiation if the reactor for some reason ever explodes like in the beginning of this video and this is our kitchen right here with a freezer of course in the main hallway with a bathroom and that is our um scuttle hatch right there to flood it and then we have the captain's bedroom right here which is mine and then right next to it we have the hvac room which we can turn on the heat for the entire ship why don't we do that because we're actually going to be going quite low in the ocean here and it's gonna get cold but then this is the actual fun stuff so we have the laboratory so this is the main lab right here which we can do experiments in this experiment chamber right here so and we have a hazmat suit just in case but we probably need to go back up there and know where we're going so they did say it was in this area somewhere so we already have sonar running which is not picking up anything besides a radar target back at that spawn area but we're going to be activating a lidar here which will scan the bottom of the ocean it's not going to be as accurate since we are moving but it's that laser right there just scanning the bottom but then if it detects any um bumps or something it'll uh display like a larger darker image like that but that's the bottom of the ocean and that's just how like the laser works you know because it gets farther out and yeah but our sonar has a one kilometer range which i'm guessing the sonar is definitely going to pick it up first because this only picks up what's under us this picks up a kilometer in front of us so this is definitely our best bet here but as you can see there's nothing on lidar going crazy right now lidar is clear so sonar actually isn't picking it up but as you can see we're actually in the area so what we're going to do is activate our lidar scanner and we're going to do circles around this area to actually um try finding it so we're going to turn right here a little bit and we're just going to be doing some circles here so let's just keep looking at our lidar thing here make sure everything is going to plan of course and we're going to be searching for the titanic so if we see anything abnormal on this monitor here that means we are currently going over it but we're not seeing anything yet of course it is looking quite normal wait what's that oh oh gosh it's like displaying hold on stop the th stop the thing stop it all right put the throttle to zero we're detecting something on lidar here what is this um that does look like something i don't know what that was okay you know refresh the scan we're refreshing the scan seeing if we're detecting something or if it's just a false alert um what is that it kind of looks like a hull is that an actual actual boat down there i don't know okay you know what i think we need to back up i don't know if that's all of it yes yeah, so we need to back up a little bit because i don't think that's detecting any of it really oh gosh what is that is that what the titan okay you know what we need to refresh it one more time we might be directly over it but we're scanning right now and we're gonna find out here momentarily here we go we're picking up something okay so that's definitely not natural that does not look natural at all but it's gonna keep going down here i hope and we're gonna see actually what it is that is quite interesting looking i don't know if that looks like a boat but it's like really curved oh okay so it's going that way okay that makes sense oh my gosh is that it guys is that the sunken titanic that everyone's talking about in this current area oh my gosh it definitely looks like a sunken shipwreck we might have just discovered the sunken titanic using lidar oh my gosh it is decently far down there but we're gonna check of course here in a bit wait hold on is this the front half of the titanic it must be because i can see like the hull right here starting to curve inwards that must be it and then right here is where it actually snapped off at oh my gosh this is such a clear image we're definitely sending this to the research center but now what we're gonna do is take in a more zoom zoomed in one and we're gonna get in our rov here and we're gonna launch the rov straight down so it is directly below us somewhere so here we go we're launching it i have no visibility at all whatsoever so i don't even know where i'm going currently oh my gosh okay um how's that picture going over here it doesn't really look that good to be honest um okay we're refreshing it we're gonna be diving this thing straight down oh is that it right there oh my gosh guys i think we just found the titanic with our rov that is insane is this actually the titanic though or is this like some random sunken ship oh that definitely looks like the titanic okay don't run into it we're 
We're not trying to completely ruin the Titanic here. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. That is the front of the hall of the Titanic. Oh my gosh, I see the Titanic's anchors right there, actually. Oh my gosh, that's so cool looking. I think we should dive down there and actually check it out for ourselves here in a bit. But we're going to continue exploring it with our ROV to make sure nothing dangerous is down there. And if there's like a crack in sleeping inside of it, that'd be so creepy. But there it is, guys, the sunken Titanic. We've officially found it. That looks so awesome. So much detail has been put into this. Okay, let's kind of look at the side of it here. So we're going to pull fully left and then we're going to pull fully right here in a second. So right now, fully right. And we're going to try looking at like the side of this thing and see like what kind of condition it is in. Okay, this is the side of the Titanic right here. Okay, there's still windows actually still here. Wow, that's quite impressive. Oh yeah, that's definitely where it snapped right there. That definitely looks like it snapped. Holy yeah, that does not look good. That is definitely exactly where it snapped at. Okay, so I think now we're going to be looking at a back view of it, but we actually have some images rolling in right now from our LiDAR. Oh my gosh, those are such high quality LiDAR images we have going on here. Okay, send that to the research center. Definitely. We can see so much details in that photo. This is the back of the Titanic right here where it actually crumpled that. Oh, that the entire flooring right there actually collapsed. Oh my gosh. But we can clearly see some of the outer shell still actually attached. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's kind of hover over deck here. See if we can see any details on the main deck. Okay, we're arriving on the main deck. It's going to get pretty bright here, but I wonder if there's still actually any interior in it, but we're going to be seeing that today. So make sure you stay tuned until we actually dive down there in our diving suit uh, located right over there. Okay, here's the main deck. Okay, so I think we're going to resurface our ROV here and actually um, explore the interior and go all the way down there and actually dive and explore it. Oh my gosh, that is so cool looking though. Oh, I think we just ran into it. Uh oh, um, guys, we have an issue. The ROV is completely stuck down there with the Titanic. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, we're just going to disconnect it and act like it's not ours. Okay, so that never happened, guys. Do not tell anyone about this, but we're going to equip our scuba suit right now and we're going to actually dive down there. It is so dark outside. Okay, here we go. We're swimming down and I'm actually trying to find it. Oh, I think that's it right there. I see it with my flashlight. Oh gosh. Okay, which way should we go first? Is that the front right there or the back? Oh my gosh. Okay, I can barely see it with my flashlight swinging all over the place, but this is the back right here. So that's what we're going to be exploring first. Dude, just look at that thing. It looks like it completely crushed in probably because it did. Okay, so we're going to go on deck here. That's our submarine right there actually with its spotlights, but our ROV. Oh, that's our ROV right there. Okay, that's staying down here. Um, I don't know how to recover that, but here's an actual window right here. Um, oh gosh. Okay, we're going to try swimming through it. Hopefully it doesn't um stab us. Look at all this stuff hanging from the ceiling. That just proves how long this has actually been down here for. But what's this right here? Oh, wait, what is this? The grand staircase with like the glass ceiling? Guys, I think it is. This must be the grand staircase right here. Oh my gosh, that's the skeletons of the grand staircase, I think, guys. That is so creepy. Let's actually go up here a little bit and see if there's anything on these floors. So we're on this floor right here. Anything on this floor? That is the creepiest hallway ever. But um, I think we're gonna go through it here. Okay, so, oh, these are the elevators. Oh my gosh. Okay, those are the elevators. I wonder if they still work. Imagine if they still worked. That'd be crazy. Okay, there's a hallway right there with some, oh, there's still cabinets intact. Okay, that is awesome. And then we have some rooms over here. Okay, okay. So it's basically like this all the way down, which is awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We're gonna drop another floor here. Here we go. We're going down another floor. Okay, is there anything different on this floor? Okay, I definitely want to explore like the captain's quarters. Oh, is that where it collapsed at? Look how bent it is. Okay, it definitely collapsed back here. Um, This is a room right here and it actually has interior. Wait, is this a bathtub? Oh my gosh, this actually has still interior in it. That's so impressive. And then this is a fireplace with a clock that still works. What? This clock actually still works? Okay, that's a little bit concerning. But this is where it actually collapsed that and we, yeah, we, I don't think we can go back here, guys. The ceiling's completely caved in. But then if we go all the way to the front here, there's actually a door. Should we open this door? Okay, I wonder what's behind it. What's behind this door right here? Oh, this is the main deck area. The Morse code beam actually fell. So you'd be standing on this thing to actually see um, icebergs and it collapsed. Oh, it completely landed like on the captain's quarters. So that dude got crushed. Oh gosh, this must be like the actual helm area. It must be um, any lifeboats actually down here. Oh my gosh, this is the top of the deck right here. Oh yeah, I definitely see all this awesome detail in it. What a great creation. So there's another door right here that we're gonna enter. Okay, so what's in this door right here? Another massive creepy hallway. Oh gosh, okay, if a ghost pops out, guys, I'm leaving the game. But yeah, this is so awesome. Like we're so deep underwater right now. Okay, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom here and see if there's anything down here. This is the second floor to the bottom. So it's a pretty open um, area, actually. What's over here? I do see some seating, I think. Oh my gosh, is there actually still seating in here? Oh my gosh, this looks like a first class area still. Although it is lower in the ship, it does look really nice. And these were the elevators behind it, but this actually isn't the lowest floor. There's one more lower, I think. So what is down here? Oh, is this the lowest floor? It actually isn't. I think there's a whole nother staircase going down. We'll explore that in a second here, but what's behind this door? What is back here? That door hasn't been opened in hundreds of years. Oh my gosh, that is the longest, creepiest hallway I've ever seen. But we're gonna be going down it. Okay, so 
if there's any ghosts. I'm actually scared right now. Okay, I see a staircase. Oh my gosh. Okay, there is a staircase down here. What even is this area? It is bent right here. So this is actually where it collapsed at. Um, oh, that door is not looking too good. Okay, so let's go down even farther. So we're on a pretty low deck now. This is definitely where water started rushing in. There are some um, rooms over here. Oh gosh. But I don't think that was the lowest floor. Here we go. We're going down that staircase we saw earlier. Okay, this is the lowest floor possibly known to us currently. Okay, so what's down this hallway? Okay, so we have a little hallway going on here. Okay, what's down it? Here we go. And it's a dead end. Oh, that is the best. Okay, that way leads to a dead end. Let's see what the other way it leads to. Over here leads to like some broken wall. Okay, what is... Oh, oh gosh. Okay, so I do see some designs still actually on the walls here with a clock. And then what is this? Two fireplaces or something like that. Okay, that's awesome. Then if we go behind this wall here, there's actually like a whole bunch of stuff right here. So this looks like a storage compartment that there would be like cars in. Wait, what is this? There's like a mirror right here. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. But what are these right here? Are these like jail cells or what? I don't even know. That's pretty cool looking though. But that's basically it for this Titanic wreck here. But um, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing with our ROV submarine because that is still attached. And I don't really want to be leaving it here. But this has some cool ceiling to it still. It's really nice interior. But here's the ROV. Maybe we could just leave it here and tell the research company that we just, um, it randomly disconnected when we were exploring the Titanic. Okay, so they'll think like a crack and ate it or something. Thing. We'll, we'll just say that on the claim. But we're going to swim back up now and actually bring the submarine down even closer to take some highly advanced photos of the actual Titanic here. So here we go. We are swimming up to the top. Those are our spotlights. And there we go. We're up to the top. Okay, so now we're going to be going all the way back down there. And I accidentally left this top hatch open. That's lovely. Okay, um, we're going to completely fill this thing's ballast here. But dude, that is such a good and highly um enhanced image right there. We can see like the clear details of it too. So that's the front of the hall right there. And then that's like the captain's area where that massive beam actually crushed it in at. But here we go. We are diving this thing down. I'm still a little bit confused on how our sonar isn't picking it up, but that's completely fine, I guess. But there it is, guys. We have infrared mode on our camera right now in front of our submarine, and this is the Titanic we're going over currently. There it is right there. We're going over it with our very bright spotlights. Okay, we're gonna do another circle here because these spotlights are awesome. Actually, we'll just put it in reverse. So here it is, the sunken Titanic. So now we can actually see like all the details here. So let's slow it down a little bit. That is awesome looking so we there's actually a pool on the top there it kind of looks like i don't know if that's actually a pool but then that's the beam right there that crashed down and actually crushed the captain area but dude that thing completely like collapsed because it actually hit the seabed going pretty fast which bent the entire frame instantly but this actually looks like some real life photos of it but it is in stormworks which is the amazing part so props to ice monster 360 for making this amazing creation but there is a full view of the titanic right there we're definitely sending some of these pictures to the research center so we're currently going over it there it is guys oh it just looks so awesome with these blue lights we got on this thing that is the actual titanic in sort wait why are we oh why were we going down so fast oh that is not good at all we just completely crushed our front hall and oh no oh this thing is like completely vertical okay put it in reverse and then we need to level it out here this is not good at all okay reverse and then level it out guys this is an issue okay so let's see what's going on back here okay so let's check our reactor here um what does this mean reactor meltdown warning oh scram the reactor shut it down shut it down oh oh it just exploded oh no okay activate fire suppression fire suppression is being activated here we go fire suppression is not working okay we're gonna mute these alarms this is definitely an issue guys fire suppression is not working there's water filling up in this thing okay activate bilge pumps activate bilge pumps here we go we're in an active emergency right now um our bilge pumps being overwhelmed no they're not actually bilge pumps are actually working to pump out the water um we've lost all connection signal with some of our monitors and this oh gosh okay is our battery our main battery's on fire okay battery fire suppression here we go and it's not even working either okay we have to actually go back there and put out the fire ourselves oh gosh i do not get paid enough for this but i do see what wait is that water oh there's water pouring through here okay we need to put out this fire immediately here we go we're putting out the fire it is hitting our computers our computer room is on fire currently this is an active emergency same with our reactor room so what i'm gonna do is actually put on a hazmat suit located in the front of this thing near the in the experiment room which oh that thing's completely filled with water okay we need to grab it fast here grab the hazmat suit fast there we go hazmat suit is on and then we're gonna put out this fire in the reactor room here and hopefully I don't die from radiation. All right, three, two, one. I'm gonna hold my breath. Okay, what is in here? I don't even know. Put out the fire, put out the fire. Here we go. All right, I think fire has been put out. I'm getting the heck out of that room. That's definitely filled with radiation. Okay, here we go. So what do we do here? I think we need an emergency resurface. Okay, we're gonna be activating emergency resurface here. We're gonna disable all this stuff, blow the ballast and blow all the ballast. Here we go. All right, and then we're gonna be activating emergency resurface. So it should activate all of our boosters. Here we go. Oh, one of them isn't working. Oh no, Um, that is not good. That is not what we wanna see at all. Wait, um, we're not floating up like how we're supposed to. 
to. Um, why isn't our emergency resurface working? Oh, God. Oh, our battery's going solo. Um, that's not good. Guys, we're having issues here. Um, okay, let's, um, uh, yeah, I don't think we're floating back up, guys. It's not looking too good for us. Maybe escape pod time. That's a very expensive escape pod I only use in emergencies, but it might be necessary. I kind of want to see what this ROV is looking at currently. Oh, it's still on there. Okay, we're turning that off. We need to get that out of here. But before we leave, we need to activate emergency power so that, um, door actually does open. So there we go. Emergency power is on. Open this door right here. Perfect. Just like that. And enter this room. Okay, there's no water in here. That is a good sign. Okay, so get ready. We're going to activate our transponder and then we're going to open the hatch here and we should just float to the top with our escape pod. Oh yeah, here we go. Will we float to the top? And I think we are just like that. Oh, wait, our submarine actually just resurfaced also. Um, that's lovely. And we forgot to close the hatch right there. So it's definitely going to sink. Well, there it is, guys. But that's probably going to be it for this Titanic exploration video. Let me know if we should explore some more sunken ships. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. But join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.